Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to XCOM 2. I have been so excited for this game for God knows how long and it's finally, finally out. And in fact, I've already put probably like an hour and a half into it, not playing mind you, but just in the character creator and making the characters that I want the game to draw from. Now I will, ad <coughs> excuse me, I will admit I have not really put any time in XCOM 2 at all other than that. I have not had the pleasure of trying out a preview build or anything, but I have put a, like a ton of hours into the original, well, XCOM 1, and then of course the original XCOM in the early 90s I put some time in when I was a kid, and recently actually put a little bit of time into. So I'm hoping some of those skills carry over, though I have a feeling they won't. Before we dive into the campaign, I'm going to show you the character pool I created. This is actually one of my new favorite features in this game. You can make a character and customize them, and they will be pulled into the game uh, as long as they're within your active characters list under certain things. So for example, I have Northern Lion. Goddamn Northern Lion. There he is, the bastard. Uh, mind you, the face options are a little limited, so I couldn't really get exactly how I want him to look, but he's got a, that aloof smirk about him. And uh, he is, you know, this is his color scheme, his armor scheme and all that good stuff. You can customize the kind of armor you want him to have, the color of the weapon and the color of the armor itself. Um, but the be important thing is you can customize how you want him to appear. So you can basically have him show up as a rookie, which is how I have everybody showing up as a rookie. Or you can have him show up as a very particular class. And this particular class, uh, will ba it'll basically give you Northern Lion as like a reward, as a special class to show up. But because I want him right away, possibly, I have him showing up as a rookie. Moreover, I can have him show up as a soldier that I get to use in the game. I can have him show up as an, a VIP, so like a scientist or something that I have to go rescue. Or, because he's scum, I have I have him showing up as a possible dark VIP, which is like an assassination mission. So, Northern Lion will either show up as a soldier that joins me, or a dark VIP that I have to kill. Now, if he shows up as a dark VIP, I of course has have his wife here, and she can only show up as a soldier. So, if he shows up as a dark VIP, you can bet your damn fucking tits I'm gonna have Kate go out there and kill her husband, because why not? I also have myself in here, and god damn am I a beautiful bastard. I have Nick in here, I did my best Nick, I'm sorry there weren't that many options that I wanted that they that they gave me. I have Bear in here, god damn it Bear, I'm so sorry, but hey, you're intense, so that's cool. Um, I've got uh, Total Biscuit, I don't know why I gave him a cigar, I just thought it would be hilarious. Jesse Cox, cause he's just gotta be in there. Dodger, she could show up as any of the three, cause she's a wild card. Crendor, I also have as showing up as any one of the three because he's also a goddamn wild card. Um, and then we have uh, Quill18 who is as close to Quill as I can get. Um, he can show up as a VIP or a soldier which makes sense to me. A Roomba who is, you know, he's a try hard so he looks like he's trying hard. Same thing, VIP or a soldier. And uh, we've got Strippin who can show up only as a soldier because I, if you want Strippin on your team you want him to be a soldier. I only have um, me, Nick, Bear, and Kate as only soldiers. I want to make sure these guys are on my team when they get pulled in. Uh, I think I have TB as a, a VIP yeah, or a soldier, so he could be either or. Jesse is a soldier or a VIP. Basically, I gave options. And, of course, we could customize characters as they appear in our squad. So, should we need more time or something, um, we will make sure we get to... Uh, we, or should we get people we want to customize, we can customize them as they show up. So, with that explanation out the way, let's start a new game. I'm gonna play Commander, which is, I assume, like, classic, and, uh, I don't, is there, like, um, wait, can't enable tutorial, okay, so we can't do tutorial, is there Iron Man or some shit, is that in the options, I need to make sure that, like, that is happening, Iron Man, Iron Man, Act da -da -da. interface, that's fine, graphics is all good, video, everything's good, yeah, I don't know if they, like, make me choose Iron Man, but, alright, let's, yeah, so we're going to play on Commander difficulty, and uh, we're just going to have some fun. I am going to play the tutorial, because I haven't played at all of this game, at all, any of it. And I will have the subtitles on for you, and we'll click Start Game. There's no Iron Man option. I don't understand. Ooh. Excitement continues to build as 
city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by French elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. <coughs> Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. All right, I actually really loved that opening. That was um. First things first. That really sets you things. Need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Sure thing, girl. Moving up. That actually really does set that the, like the the tone of this game drastically different than the first one. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna go to these half cover. I feel like half cover is a poor decision, but hey, the game that's what the game wants. That's fine. Unit uh, the unit flag shows the selected soldier's health and actions remaining. Soldiers get two actions per turn. OCI now only has one action remaining. Position, okay. But I'm exposed here. Yeah, I know. You're half cover. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. I'm assuming here, right here. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Yeah, let's go here. Full cover. I mean, double moving is not the greatest, but hey, it's better than nothing. Crasher two. Stay close. Keep All right. pace with Crasher one. No problem. So we can go double long distances is gonna cost two moves, double as we know. So a lot of the same same uh, principles apply from the first one. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Ooh, concealment. All right. Most missions start with the, with the squad in concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushes. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all of your soldiers lose the benefit of concealment. Okay. So this is, I'm assuming, like, uh, they're not aware of us. So I'm assuming the eyeballs is, like, showing us where it is. Use concealment to advance and set up ambushes. Got it. So you get your ass up there. Okay. Easy enough. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our... Yeah, so that those eyes have to be like what they can see and where they can see it. 
Nearby enemies will spot a soldier that moves too close to them. That makes sense. All right. You're in half cover, girl. You're gonna die, girl. It's gonna happen. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully, that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. You and me both. Good old compressed. <laughs> Uh, cutscenes. Okay. Okay. Uh, press enter or left click on an action to activate the tactical combat UI. Click fire weapon or enter to perform attack. So we can hit like enter. Can I move like who I want to attack? No, I can't. So I have to just click on him. All right. Beautiful. His legs flopped. It was beautiful. So now... Alright. Now they're gonna get cover. That's unfortunate. I feel like we should have set up an Overwatch game. The entire squad loses concealing when any soldier attacks an enemy. Breaking windows or kicking doors open. A soldier is flanked or steps on a detection tile. Makes sense. Okay. See you now. How no shit. Shoot first and celebrate later. No problem. But it's still eyeballs, girl. All right, here we go. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. Enter uh, combat. Click on the highlight here. So we're gonna shoot, and I guess that's who we're shooting. All right, get her. Don't miss. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'm. It's possible to miss. Also, I think that's like loot, which is new to the game. You're still keeping score, right? All right. Thank God. We still have, what, one more to take a shot at us. Not going out well, that's good. I prefer you to live. Oh, shit. Well. That sucks. No, Crasher 2 is down. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch I like how the game's like, we're going to teach you what happens when you play like an idiot. Dead. All right, well. I feel like this might not be a smart move, but we're going to do it. Um, I mean, yeah, we're going to get a flank, I guess. Press the advantage before they get around you. All right. Uh, attacking a flanked unit ignores its defense bonus, and there's a high chance to score a critical hit. Do not let enemies flank you. I mean, that makes sense. Let's see how you, like this. you killed my lover! I mean, probably not, but that's what I like to say. I like to think that. The closing in on me. The oh shit. Oh, dead. Alright. I mean, he, he might have missed. Someone's pissed. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Who was that? Transmission. Central reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Oh, damn. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Welp. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left <laughs> side. What do you want me to do? Move? All right. I can do that. All right. Q, we need to rotate the camera for a clearer view. Easy enough. I'm on it. We're missing whatever that is. Fire on anything that moves. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. Main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. You need to get out the fucking way. You're in the wide goddamn open. All right, you're central, huh? Uh, what about this, man? I want to pick this up, but I guess I shouldn't. All right, let's get in there. All right, that was unnecessary, but you got a sweet gun, so that's all right. Menace three, you're up. Hold up. 
check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. All right, so soldiers back. automatically collect dropped items when they end a move inside a yellow loot square. All right, cool. We got a scope. This weapon upgrade will add an aim bonus to any weapon it is attached to. All right. Now what? All right, half. Okay, got it. Half cover. Go, girl. Here they come. They weren't ready for the one-man army. Well, there's like three of them. That's unfortunate. No wonder these like human-y looking soldiers were speaking a weird-ass language. I'm like, I don't understand. They look human. Now I know we're in the right place. All right. Well, we have Overwatch, so hopefully we're gonna get a free shot. Yeah. Oh, sweet fucking tits. Oh yeah. That was beautiful. Am I gonna die here? Is this guy gonna die? Well done. My well life done. for Aya. Just go. I'll try to stall a few. All right. Well, we're just gonna give our life stupidly. I feel like if we just got in the building, we'd probably be okay. Um. Let's see. Who are we gonna attack? The Advent Officer. I can't switch at all. So it looks like you're firing at the Advent Officer with a 49% chance to hit. You're dead. You are goddamn We're fucking going. dead. I'm going for the door. All right, girl. Daddy likes it when you go for the door. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Okay. All soldiers can hack certain computers, lock doors, and some other objects to gain access and temporary bonuses. Daddy like. Hack. No effect on fail, no effect on fail. Soldier Queen's complete immunity for the next two attacks. Soldier immediately gains concealment. So like this one's a 2% chance, this is a 6% chance. Fuck it. Let's go with the concealment. Yeah, let's go with the override. Woo! We weren't getting any of them. Whatever, we unlocked the door. No effect on the fail, so that's interesting. I like that. We're in. Good. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Move to secure the package. What's the package? Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? I'm assuming it's a person? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to. Well, I guess fuck that. Who is it? Is it like the commander from the first game? Because that would be fucking awesome. Let's get out of here. Well, let's get out of here. Soldiers can carry unconscious, dead, and bleeding out units. The soldier. This allows a soldier to retrieve a fallen comrade. Ooh, that's cool. So three. Carry him. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. But it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Alright, well, this fucker is so goddamn dead. My life for the... Okay. Well, you landed on, like, sharp glass, so... My life for the resistance. Shit. No! Central, pressure one is down. You have to get out of there. They ain't fucking playing around. We need another exit. Now! All right, I'm moving, girl. Boy, whatever, go. Got it covered. Yeah, you do. Um, what? Uh, let's see. Grenades are not as lethal as firearms, but can damage multiple units and destroy cover and walls. Cool. So we're gonna four. Okay. One thing I love is that there's like a goddamn grid now when you like aim grenades. It's beautiful. Fire in the hole. We actually see what you're gonna hit a lot easier. For me. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's go. Almost there. Stay 
focused. Don't worry, we're just gonna walk really slowly past the enemy soldiers. It'll be all okay. Is this girl gonna die too? They're Is right this? Behind us. Yeah, no shit. You're dead. Oh shit, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Way too close. Yeah, well, you've got another one still. Holy shit. Okay. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Into the square. Press P to place evac zone. Select call range or select call sky ranger icon or press P to place an evac zone. Select a target and confirm placement. Ooh, that's cool. So we can hit P and we place the evac zone down. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Now I assume I just move into it. You don't need to tell me twice. Get out. Get out. Get out. We're coming home. Walk slowly while you bleed out. It's fine. A unit standing within the evac zone can activate the evac ability to safely extract from combat. Works for me. Get the fuck out. Oh, are we out? They have Stormtrooper aim, we're fine! Okay! That's creepy. I'm really interested in knowing who this guy is. There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Oh, this is supposed to be me. We were still calling it a war back then. That must be him, maybe. Maybe that's the old commander. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. That sounds dangerous. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe- No plan B here, people. Do it. Yeah, this must be me. Response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. All right, yeah, that was supposed to be me. Got it. <laughs> this this guy, the rough and tumble guy, must have been the old guy, or the guy who was in charge of the old I base or whatever. You're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. 
Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. I mean, I know I lost the first war, but... And you might maybe had a better commander, but, you know, just saying... Maybe... <laughs> I'm not the best. Commander to the research labs. Relax. Our, our XCOM archives. Let's take a look at this. I'm assuming this is going to explain, like, what happened. Historical records. Well, we'll take a look at this real quick. This doesn't look too bad. Propaganda assessment. The following uh, directives have been identified by resistance analysis, uh, analysts based on a thorough review of Advent's ongoing propaganda effort. The aliens' key areas of focus as directed towards the civilian populace are recruitment of an increasing number of civilians into the city centers, nurturing an atmosphere of distrust to encourage self-reporting among city and center inhabitants, encouragement of the belief that so-called dissident groups are to blame for perceived faults, and disassociation of trade, uh, traditional beliefs and value systems in favor of ad, uh, adulation for the elders. Got it. The Advent Network Tower is the central hub of the alien psionic network and their worldwide communication system. Although the tower itself is a readily identifiable fixture uh, to those living in the city centers, its overall function and the extent of its capabilities are still generally unknown. It is widely believed that the Advent peacekeeping forces are coordinated from somewhere within the tower. In July of 2015, the coalition government formerly known as Advent was first proposed by a small group of human politicians who stepped forth intent on negotiating with the elders. Despite the open hostility initially directed towards these peaceful alien visitors, of course they're peaceful, they were receptive to the possibility of coexistence. Despite their effective conquest of Earth's combined militaries, the elders allowed for the pact of unification establishing Advent's governance. In the 20 years since, Advent has effectively served humanity and created an environment of peace and prosperity. Initially conceived as a means to defend against unforeseen threats to the Earth as a whole, the XCOM project was first outlined during secretive planning sessions conducted throughout the year 1993. Although these early discussions were only meant to establish the theoretical principles of defense against an unknown enemy, all agreed upon preparations were agreed, carried out by the participating council nations immediately. For more than two decades, the project remained dormant, with limited personnel records maintained by an agreed upon representative of the council. In February 2015, long distance scans indicated a number of large unidentified objects on a slow approach towards Earth. As agreed upon, the XCOM project was activated on February 10th, with key personnel assignments filled by the latest active candidates on file. In less than two months' time, open hostilities between the aliens and Earth's forces ravaged much of the planet's developed world, leaving the survivors desperate and alone. Cool. So that's like a quick history of things that have happened so far. Uh, they need us in the research lab. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, hello. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens technology. Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, Given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. All right. So our first research project, obviously, is one that we have no choice. Uh, we have to figure out what this alien biotech that was in my face does. So let's hit research. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. 
I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Dragon busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. All right, to the armory it is. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Okay, well, good job, girl. You're going to be promoted. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving <laughs> independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. In a badass fucking sword. Fuck. All right, so she is a ranger. She gets a new ability, Slash. Attack an enemy within movement range with it with your sword. Carry on. To a good nice. Our troops will only get All these are locked. They gain experience. Cool. Commander, to the bridge. Okay, well, that's the bridge. Let's click on it. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence. Detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Well, we've got Nick. So Nick got randomly assigned to us and then we've got three randoms. Well, except for obviously what's her face here. Welcome back, Commander. Welcome back.